everybody. So nice to see you. It's been a beautiful day today. And that's my good news because I enjoyed sitting outside and eating my lunch. What kind of good news do you have today? Well, I have a, a story for you filled with good news. Um, do you, uh, since you're a kid, do people every once in a while say, oh, you can't do that, you're just a kid, or um, no, we don't, we, we would rather not have you here because you're just a kid. And you shouldn't listen to that because you're just a kid. And it's true, there are things you really truly can't do because maybe you're too short or um, you haven't learned how to do that yet. But there are a lot of things that kids can do. And I believe as adults, we can help kids do lots and lots more stuff. Well, my Bible story today is about how Jesus felt about kids. And this story can be found in Matthew 18 and 19, Mark 10, and Luke 18. That means it's in three out of the four Gospels. To me, that says this is a very important story to listen to. So let's hear the friend of little children. Jesus's friends were arguing, who was the most important helper in God's kingdom? They wanted to know. I am, said James. No, you're not, said Peter. I am. Nonsense, Matthew said. I'm the cleverest. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, no, I am too. Stop it. Oh, this silliness went on and on like that for some time. You see, Jesus' friends had started thinking they had to do something to make themselves special to Jesus that if they were the cleverest or the nicest or something, Jesus would like them best. But they had forgotten something, something God had been teaching his people over and over through all the years that no matter how clever you are, or how good you are, or how important you are, none of it makes any difference because God's love is a gift. And as anyone will tell you, the whole thing about a gift is it's free. All you have to do is reach out your hands to take it. So while Jesus' friends were arguing, some people who knew all about getting gifts, in fact, you might say they were the gift experts, had come to see Jesus. Who were they? They were the little children. Jesus' helpers tried to send them away. Jesus doesn't have time for you, they said. He's too tired. But they were wrong. Jesus always had time for the children. Don't ever send them away, Jesus said. Bring the little ones to me. Now, if you had been there, what do you think? Would you have had to line up quietly to see Jesus? Do you think Jesus would have asked you how good you'd been before he'd give you a hug? Would you have had to be on your best behavior and get all dressed up and not speak until you're spoken to? Or 
would you have done just what these children did? Run straight up to Jesus and let him pick you up in his arms and swing you and kiss you and hug you and then sit you on his lap and listen to your stories and chats. You see, children love Jesus and they knew they didn't need to do anything special for Jesus to love them. All they needed to do was to run into his arms. And so that's just what they did. Well, after all the laughing and games, Jesus turned to his helpers and said, no matter how big you grow, never grow up so much that you lose your child's heart full of trust in God. Be like these children. They are the most important in my kingdom. Okay, I forgot to show you pictures because I got so excited. There's the disciples trying to keep the children away from Jesus. And there are the children running and playing and laughing with Jesus. I think that is so amazing to think about. Here Jesus is, he's God's son, and he wants to run and hug and hold hands and play with the little children. Because the children have an open heart for God. They know that they are loved just because of who they are. And so as you grow up, I hope you can stay childlike that way. That you can remember that you can run into God's arms and he will always be there to be with you. Okay, now our craft today, what's fun about art is there are so many things you can use. So I was thinking about this story about how the story is such good news. And it's in three out of the four gospels. It's such good news. It's about children having a heart for God. It's such good news. And I thought, hmm, where do we read news? Well, of course, we read it on the internet, but I can't do an art project on the internet. And where else do we read good news? Um, on, on phones, yeah, but I still can't do an art project. But how about a newspaper? We can read lots of news and hopefully more good news than bad news in a newspaper. So this is a very simple craft, but I love it because I used a newspaper because it is about good news. So here is the craft. I simply cut out a heart out of construction paper. You can use any color you want. And then I cut out a matching heart a little bit smaller out of the newspaper. And then I wrote, good news, Jesus loves you. And then I did a little bit of artwork on the edges. And what is cool about this, it's easy enough to make a few of them and you can spread the good news. You could take one, you could take them and put them on all of your neighbor's front doors. Or you can put them in mom and dad's room and your brother's and sister's room. Or you could give them to your prayer partner or you could give them to some other relatives. But they're simple to make 
and they are about good news. Jesus loves you and me and everyone else. That's the best news. So I am just glad to be here with you today. And I will be back again on Friday with another Bible story. And uh, let's bow our heads for prayer. Dear God, we are so thankful for your good news. The good news that you love us no matter what. The good news that Jesus loves the little children. The good news that we can share this wherever we go. Bless all my Messiah friends, Lord, and uh, be with us this day. Amen. All right, everybody, I will see you on Friday.